Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world, tuning in to episode 11 of Voice from the Ever Change. Uh, this is my very small contribution uh, to the uh, current world crisis as a way of alleviating uh, any tensions or uh, any stress that's arising for you all uh, in this current world uh, situation, tuning in here, hoping uh, that you all can find some relief. And quite honestly, uh, I'm finding a lot of relief in it myself. Uh, so not only am I doing this as an act of generosity uh, to the world community, the social media community, but I'm also doing it because I too uh, find great benefit in sharing these teachings and uh, making this small offering. So this is the Saturday edition and as keeping with uh, the tradition on Saturdays what I have been doing is uh, I depart from the the structure of a voice from the ever change. I don't read uh, from the book that I wrote uh, but I do more of a traditional guided meditation. Now, last Saturday I did a uh, meditation on loving kindness. And if you wish, that is available on my website and on my YouTube channel. So you can scroll back through if you'd like to do some loving kindness practice. That's of great benefit anytime, but uh, particularly uh, in times of strife and stress and trouble. Now, arguably of equal benefit is the practice of resting. And so that's the type of meditation practice I'm going to offer here today. This is a practice designed to allow one to cultivate a very deep sense of rest. Now the one more practices this type of meditation, the easier it becomes to find that resting in everyday experience. So uh, one of the benefits of this practice is the capability or cultivating the capability to rest in the eye of the storm. Now, I don't think many would argue that we're in quite a storm uh, currently. So I thought this would be very appropriate. So resting practice. And so if you've done any meditating with me before, you know uh, I like to start in a particular way. I start uh, with the breath, noticing the breath. Generally, sometimes I start with the sounds, the visual field, but uh, generally starting with the breath, and that's how we'll start today. We'll uh, come into the present moment, experiencing the breathing, entering and leaving the body. And then we'll do a rather thorough body scanning practice, going through the entire body and inviting the muscles in the body to rest. Now, it's quite likely that there will be areas of the body that don't want to rest, that there's actually quite a bit of tension there. That's fine. You can't force resting, right? Now, if you go into the body and you're body scanning and there's that tension there and you try to force those muscles to rest, you're just adding more tension there. So what I uh, propose is that when, when and if you're doing a body scanning practice and you notice there's a muscle tension, just ask, what am I resisting right now? Because tension in the body is indicative of a type of resisting. Now that resistance could be uh, something that's developed over many years and that we're not even conscious of what we're resisting now, that's okay, that's fine. We don't need to try to answer that question. But really what that question is doing is pointing our awareness uh, into the idea that we don't need to resist anything right now. Right now, all we're doing is resting. So there's no resistance to anything required. So if there's tension in the body or tension in the mind, tension in the heart, you can ask yourself, what am I resisting right now? And again, not trying to answer that question, but allowing the question to point your awareness into the experience of resistance. In that pointing, 
that resistance can and often does uh, dissolve, and that can be quite relieving. Now, you can even try that outside of the meditation practice. If you're going through your day, you feel tension in the body, tension in the mind, tension in the heart, ask yourself, what am I resisting right now? Is this resistance necessary at this present moment? Now, sometimes it, it might be, but oftentimes I think you'll find that that resistance is actually quite unnecessary. So we'll do that as going through the breath, going through the body, inviting the muscles in the body to rest, relax, grow soft, letting any tension or resistance that's held in the body go if we can. Again, if not, if the muscles don't want to rest, just keep going with the body scanning practice. Again, you can't force relaxation. We just ask ourselves to rest. Another pointer that I'll be using during the meditation is if you're going through the breath, the body, and anything arises during the meditation practice that takes you out of resting, a thought pattern, tension in the body, tension in the mind or the heart, ask yourself, can I rest with this? Oftentimes that question, can I rest with this, brings us back to the resting. So if it's anxiety that arises, can I rest with this anxiety? Or if tension arises, can I rest with this tension? Now, oftentimes, tension arises, anxiety arises because we're holding on to some belief or some idea that the present moment should be something different than what it is. So you'll find in a deep state of resting, particularly if you do this practice consistently, that holding on can't coexist in a state of resting. The resting and that holding quality, uh, they can't coexist. So if you can ask yourself, can I rest with this? Or let me rest with this. You'll find that holding dissolves. You can't make the anxiety dissolve. You can't make the tension dissolve but you can rest into the present moment with the anxiety. And in that resting, the anxiety releases into the present moment awareness like that. So the resting, quite important there. So we'll go through the breath, we'll go through the body, really inviting the muscles in the body to rest, relax. And then for about seven minutes or so, I'll drop more and more pointers in to bring the meditation into a deeper and deeper resting quality like that. Now, we don't want to fall asleep, <laughs> as tempting as that might be. Uh, the idea here is, is to remain alert, present, uh, but at rest. So oftentimes people think resting just means, oh, going with the flow. But in this practice, that's not what we mean here by resting. In fact, it's quite the opposite to that. In this state of resting, we're engaging the present moment fully, yet resting at the same time. And you'll find that the deeper you can rest, the more honestly you can engage the present moment. And that's quite profound. Again, another wonderful benefit of doing a consistent meditation practice on resting. So I think that's all I wanted to say for the introduction. I'm going to ring the bell and I'll do this complete guided meditation. I won't be doing any reading from my book uh, this evening, as I mentioned. Uh, I may or may not do a little bit of a Dharma talk at the end of the meditation. I might just allow the meditation to carry us into resting, uh, which can be quite nice as well. So I'll decide uh, when we get there. Okay. So it's meditation time. Find yourself a very comfortable, relaxed, resting posture, whatever that means for you. There's no wrong posture or right posture for resting practice.
So allow your body to rest. You can allow your muscles to relax and grow soft, inviting any tension or stress that's held in the body to go. Allow the mind to rest, letting any concerns or thoughts of the upcoming days go. Thoughts or concerns of the days past, you can let all of that go as well and just rest right here and right now with this present moment experience. And let your heart rest, vast and open like the blue sky. And breathing in and breathing out, bringing awareness and attention to the breath as it enters the nose and leaves the nose. You might notice a cool or a dry sensation arising from the nose. Perhaps noticing the temperature might be slightly different in one nostril over the other, or perhaps breathing in more air through one nostril over the other. But the quality of sensation doesn't matter, just rest and experience any sensation which may arise from the nose as you breathe in and breathe out. And breathing in and breathing out, allowing awareness to expand to include the back of the throat Noticing the breath as it touches the back of the throat. There might be a dry or a tingling sensation arising there, or perhaps simply noticing the breath changing from cooler to warmer as you inhale and exhale. And allowing awareness to expand again to include the rib cage expanding and contracting with each breath. There might be sensations of clothing moving to adjust with the rising and falling of the body as you inhale and exhale. And you might also notice the shoulders rising and falling with each breath. allowing awareness to expand to include the abdomen, noticing the abdomen rising as you breathe in and falling as you breathe out. Notice the back moving out slightly on the in-breath and in on the out-breath. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you might also notice the body straightening up slightly on the in-breath and leaning forward slightly on the out-breath. And so we'll rest right there just for a few moments, maintaining awareness on the sensations of the breathing process. From the nose, the back of the throat, the chest and shoulders and back, and abdomen, and any other sensations that you might notice arising as a result of the breathing process. And just rest, breathing in and breathing out. And if any time during the meditation, thoughts take you away from the resting, simply ask, how can I rest with these thoughts?
and breathing in and breathing out while maintaining awareness on the sensations of the breathing process. Allow awareness to expand again to include sensations of clothing resting against the shoulders, If there's any tension or stress or emotion that's held in the shoulder muscles, you can invite those to go, allowing the muscles in the shoulders to rest and grow soft. Allowing awareness to expand through the arms. You might notice sensations of clothing against the arms or the arms resting against the body. Inviting the muscles in the arms to rest and unwind, letting any tension or stress that's held in the arms go. Allowing awareness to expand through the hands Inviting the muscles in the hands to rest, relax, and grow soft. Awareness moving through the hands and into the thumbs and the fingers to the fingertips. And allowing awareness to expand again to include the muscles of the chest, inviting the muscles in the chest to rest, relax, unwind, allowing any stress or tension that's held in the chest go, and allowing awareness to expand through the abdomen. And the abdomen muscles are often used to contain emotion, tension, or stress. So as we invite the muscles in the abdomen to relax and rest, you can let any tension, stress, or emotion that's held in the abdomen go. Allowing those muscles in the abdomen to return to their natural resting state. And as you breathe in and breathe out, allow awareness to expand to include sensations of clothing against the legs. Allow the muscles underneath those sensations to rest, grow soft and unwind. Awareness expanding through the legs, through the knees, into the lower legs allowing the muscles in the calves and shins to relax and rest. Inviting the muscles in the ankles to grow soft and unwind. Awareness moving into the feet, inviting the muscles in the feet to relax, rest and grow soft. So awareness moves through the feet and into the toes to the tip of the toes. And while resting there with the sensations of the breath and the body, bringing attention to the top of the head, noticing any sensations arising from the crown of the head. Now there might be very little or no sensations, that's okay, that's fine. Just keep going with the practice. Those areas will wake up with consistent practice and time. And allowing awareness to expand through the back of the head and into the back of the neck. And as awareness expands through the back of the neck, you can invite the muscles in the back of the neck to rest relax and grow soft. You can let any tension or stress that's held in the back of the neck go. Awareness expanding through the sides of the neck, inviting the muscles in the sides of the neck to rest. 
awareness expanding into the cheeks of the face. You can let any tension or emotion that's held in the face go, allowing the muscles in the face to rest, allowing the lips to grow soft and unwind. The eyes and the eyelids can relax, rest, inviting the muscles in the forehead to grow soft, allowing awareness to again expand into the top of the head. And so we'll rest right here, resting with the experience of breath from the nose to the abdomen, the abdomen to the nose, resting with the experience of body from the top of the head to the bottoms of the feet. Resting in the body, resting in the mind, resting in the heart, just rest. And if anything arises in the body, in the mind, in the heart, during this meditation, which takes you out of resting, you can ask, how can I rest with this? and just rest, breathing in and breathing out. If you notice you're having thoughts, you can label those thoughts thinking, or simply ask, how can I rest with these thoughts? Both techniques will allow the thoughts to dissolve and gently return back to the resting. From time to time, you can check your shoulders. Are they resting? Check your jaw. Is your jaw at rest? We often hold our body in a particular way while we're meditating because we want to meditate in the right way. In this practice, there's no right way there is only resting. And check your back. Is your back at rest? Check your abdomen. Is your abdomen resting? Check your legs. Are your legs at rest? Check your feet. Are your feet resting? Allow yourself to rest. Rest very deeply into this present moment. Resting in the body. Resting in the mind. Resting in the heart. Just rest.
not entertaining the past, not pursuing the future, not dwelling on the present. You don't need to figure anything out. You don't need to make anything happen. Right now, just rest. Just rest. And now while allowing the body to rest and not doing anything with the body, notice what happens to the sensations of the body. And you might notice that the sensations of the body arise and they pass. and yet you remain at rest. And when you allow the mind to rest, and you don't do anything with the mind, notice what happens to your thoughts. And you might notice that your thoughts too arise and they pass, and yet you remain at rest. And when you allow the heart to rest and you don't do anything with the heart, Notice what happens to your feelings and emotions. And you might notice that they too arise and pass. And yet you remain at rest. Resting in the body Resting in the mind, resting in the heart, just rest. No distraction, no work, nothing to control. Right now, just rest.
Let go of what has happened. Let go of what may come. Let go of what is happening right now. You don't need to figure anything out. You don't need to make anything happen. Just rest. Right now, just rest. And if anything arises to take you out of the resting, simply ask, how can I rest with this? So those bells concludes uh, this practice on resting. I hope that was useful, relieving, beneficial. And so yesterday I talked a little bit about uh, embracing the present moment and stepping out of struggle. And so I, I thought that's uh, well, that's one of the reasons why I offered the resting practice today was because when we can really rest into the present moment, uh, we take away that element of struggle because struggle and resting can't coexist. You can't be at rest and be caught in struggle at the same time. And so as I guided during the meditation, when things arise, situations, thoughts, beliefs, ideas, philosophies, circumstances, anything that brings us struggle, we can pose that question, can I rest with this? Now, Sometimes the answer is no, I, I can't rest with this situation. I can't rest with this circumstance. That's fine, then you have to make a move to remove yourself or remove the situation. But even just posing that question creates a gap, creates a pause. And in that space, in that gap, in that pause, we come into the present moment. And when we can take that, mo that, that time to feel that gap, to come into the present moment, even just for a second, even just to answer the question, uh, no, I can't rest with this, we're more equipped to address the present moment situation skillfully. We're more in touch with our body, with our mind, with our heart, as it arises in that present moment and we move forward from there. Now sometimes whatever's arising in the present moment causes us some tension, some strife, some struggle. We ask that question, can I rest with this? Sometimes the answer is yes. <sighs> 
You feel the body, the mind, the heart rest. And then you can still move forward to address the present moment situation. You can still move forward to correct the person's behavior who's transgressing against you. You can still move forward for social change or move forward for a better life for yourself or for others. That's all great, beautiful. But you can do that from the state of resting. There's much more power in that state because we're completely aligned with the present moment. We use the energy of the present moment to assist us in that moving forward. If there's struggle, if there's strife, if there's any sort of resistance or pushing against the present moment, then our energy is divided. We're pushing that away and trying to move forward at the same time. Now, some things can get accomplished in that way. I think actually many things have been accomplished that way, in that way. But what that does is that creates an equal and opposing reaction. Anytime there's resistance, there's pushing away, you by very definition of pushing away, you're pushing against a resistance. And that resistance most likely will begin to push back. When you can be in resting embrace of the present moment, really fully engaged in the present moment through the practice of resting or through the practice of mindfulness meditation, whatever technique works for you, yoga, coming into the present moment with that open-hearted embrace of the present moment, we're much more effective to then move forward because there's no resistance any longer. So that is one of the great, great benefits of the practice that I just guided here, this resting practice. And yeah, I know it's recorded. Um, I'll download it uh, and all so and so forth with the technology and I'll have it up on my YouTube channel and on my website and on Instagram and all of that. Uh, so if you'd like to do the resting practice, it's, it's there, it's available, it's all for free. Uh, the website is www.suchsweetthunder.org. And I will be back tomorrow. I'll be hosting a Q&A tomorrow. Um, so if you have any questions that you'd like to hear me talk about, please do send them to me through Messenger. I've already got a stack of questions, uh, but I always welcome more. And, and it's great to know how I'm reaching people, how I'm engaging with people, or how people are engaging with this uh, video podcast. The questions are a really great way for me to know and understand how that's happening. Uh, so I, I appreciate the questions. Do keep them coming in. And it's the same time, uh, which is 7 p.m. in Thailand, 8 a.m. East Coast time of the United States. And hope to see you all there. Okay, have a beautiful Saturday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Please, please, please stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay clean. Do... Uh, do line your behavior up with what your government is advising you to do if you're on lockdown or if there's a curfew please 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 obey please social distancing uh, so important every doctor every scientist that I've listened to that I've paid attention to they all recommend social distancing I can't uh, emphasize that enough and I don't think uh, I don't think they can either uh, if we're going to put the kibosh on this virus, uh, we need to be spending time away from each other, um, as hard as that may be. And we have this wonderful uh, technology now where we can all come together uh, through the Internet. By the way, on a positive note, before I close, I know I'm rambling a bit now, uh, but <laughs> uh, I really, really appreciate not only all of you who are watching these uh, video podcasts uh, of Voice from the Ever Change, but also all of the um, uh, energy that's being brought to putting programs out like this. Um, you know, 
I just uh, this uh, over this whole week, I've been seeing uh, yoga podcasts or yoga videos uh, live on Facebook. Um, lots and lots of meditations. Uh, lots and lots of musicians who are stuck at home, uh, not uh, gigging anymore, unfortunately. So they're doing uh, gigs from their living room. Uh, uh, all kinds of uh, entertainment that's coming up. People dancing. People who don't dance, who are just uh, putting a, a dance together with their family in the living room or their kitchen. Uh, lots of cat videos, which I love. And by the way, I just got a kitten yesterday, so you might be seeing some cat videos from me myself. Okay, enough about that. I just wanted to say I love that and I love you all uh, deeply with metta, with metta, with metta, which means loving kindness. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Doug, I see your question there. I'm going to... I'm going to, I'll talk about that tomorrow. So thanks for sending that over. Uh, and I'll see you all then. Oh, the bell. <laughs>